Yo, welcome to the video. So I'm gonna go over like some of the secrets that I found during Indaria's end. So to start off, um, we'll get to the red door later. We're gonna go through one where we're gonna find an archer ring. And we're going forward in this area, get through this room, kill a few mobs. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the next room. And there is a hidden wall that, that looks like kind of a door. So my teammate found this, it looks like it could be a door entrance. But when you run by it, you can't press anything. But you, it, it's, it's pretty much a step. You climb into it. And be careful, there's like two mini bosses down there. So uh, they can like uh, root you and stuff like that. So just be careful. Um, just kill two of them. Um, if you do somehow like die in the water, you just instantly just drown. No one can revive you. Anyways, we get through this room. Um, and at the end, there's the chest. And here's where you get the archer ring. And I believe a relic fragment, which is mod cost, mod cost. <laughs> So what the Archer Ring does is that it increases the projectile speed and decreases the weapon charge time. So it's very good for like a bow if you have some kind of bow or some kind of weapon that has like a long charge time. Anyways, we're at the end of this um, dungeon area and if you there's the item, purple item over there and there is a platform that you press right there that opens to a side wall. So here it'll pretty much be a room of walls. Actually it'll be like a bunch It'll be like a 12, a 4 by 3 room thing. And you step on the platform in the middle of these rooms. So in order to find the right direction, I will actually look at the symbols on top. And if they have any matching symbols, I that usually is the right way. Obviously, there are some other routes you can take to get some loot and stuff. Um, so uh, it will actually bring you back to like either entrance or back like a room. Anyway, so this is the right way. You go... We can go two down, and you gotta be careful though. You have to go fast, otherwise you're gonna end up like my teammate, get squished by a door. <laughs> uh, you can also use the door to squish enemies uh, if you're if you can time it right. Anyway, there is a chest over there, and you want to be careful. Um, once you get like two rooms in, on the third room there is minion bosses, this minion boss, and it's spiteful, so it can actually teleport to you. So uh, be wary of that and summon minions. I tried to time it to actually kill it by the door. Um, and yeah, it just teleported. Anyways, after you defeat it, you do get a mutator that gives you vampire blade. And this vampire blade is very good for bleed builds. Um, increased damage when using bleed enemy and at level 10. Uh, melee hits against bleed enemy will give you life steal. Anyway, in this room, you got to be careful. There are arrows. I usually, so you want to do what my teammate does. You kind of want to roll into the side when you get to the, the front area. There's a chest over here anyways. And um, if you continue through this room, you actually bleed back into like the beginning. But yeah, so I, I got a habit. You just want to, go, as you go through, just roll through the beginning just in case there's arrows that come out and shoot you. Anyways, you want to go three down. Obviously, he went through a safe, so I didn't see any arrows. Um, if you actually go to, um, I guess, to your right as you're going down, you there is a blade that you can see on there. And it's, a, it's an axe, actually. And it's an electric axe. And you can throw it. So I had a plug and pile overload. You can throw it like an axe with a charge attack. Which is pretty nice. Anyways, if you do go through that room, you end up back one room. So if you just like, cause then it'll, if you go in there, it'll just lock you out this way. So you have to go forward. Um, but if you go the other way now, after you're getting, going back to that area again, and then going, you can look on top, obviously look at the symbols. Uh, we go, you go left this time and then you go down. Cause at this part, I think it is the edge of the three by four. If you look at the symbols, there's like matching symbols. We've got three of them right now. And going this way, there's only one way anyways. Continue. Uh, yeah, there were some mobs over there. <laughs> that I think I believe is for the chest that we did before. Um, but anyways, you go down here. 
you pretty much after you get to this corner over here, you just pretty much head straight down. You should be you should be able to get there just fine, and you, you will see a, a purple item. Obviously, you wanna when you go through, just roll yet again to the side just in case <laughs> there's some some arrows that can shoot you. All right, here we go, running forward. Now we're missing one symbol left. I, we actually, well, my team actually been through there, so it doesn't actually show on my map. If you notice on the top right, the mini map. So, if you just end up going forward, you actually get to see the purple item. Now, every everything's all, all lit up. There's only one way forward now. <laughs> Once you get, so you pretty much go down three you turn left and then you go down again and then you turn right because that's the only way and then you pretty much just go straight and then you pretty much just go straight all the way and then you turn right because that's the only way left and you just get to this purple item and this purple item it's a ring tempest conduit there is actually a hidden wall over here so um i didn't actually get over here my teammate got there later i'll show you it later but there is another spot is also awesome. here that requ this requires two people. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait, what? oh. What? Stand back on it. Stand back on it. Okay, okay. It opens the door on this side. Oh, okay. So if you have one person stand right here, um, there will be a, a door that opens on the side. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get our way there. So we'll make our way there right now. <laughs> you can see on the minimap, there's a pathway here. You climb over this fallen pillar. And yeah, that, that side door will open. And then the person that goes in can open the door and let the other person in now. And now you see a bunch of whirling blades and saws. So there is a platform like kinda in the middle. You'll see right here, steps on it, uh, gets hit, challenge your person, die hard, you know, activate power it. Through it. And when you actually click on it, it actually the opens it. the sides and the one in front. Ooh, chest. There's a chest over there on the left side. So, um, even though you're down, uh, you can just way stand on the platform the and you can still open the door. Like, you uh, revive me through the wall? Wow. Nothing over there. I get right. revived right. from the door, but I was going to make it. Here's my teammate. Uh, oh yeah, ducking. Well, actually, allows you to probably easier to navigate. Obviously, you walk slower, but you can avoid most of the blades like this. It may still hit you though. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, we can get on. You can notice that the door is open. So you do still need to get okay. two people for this. I'm chilling. Oh, never mind. Thought I was safe. Nope, that didn't work out. Yeah, you know that I'm down. Oops, stay there, stay there. I can crawl back on to the platform. Oh, oh, he still made it. All right, cool. All right, so we're past the saw room. Here's the item. Captain Insignia, I think it increases your revival speed. Yeah, so over here is where we came out from, and here's the visible wall. You get a you get a loot over there, and this is where we're back uh, back outside in the dungeon. Right there's that um, waypoint, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Check out my Twitch.